Yo, what's up guys? Peace and blessings to everyone watching this video. This is gonna be about the benefits on sleep retention. Yes, I did make a video about this, but I talked about like the basic things, things that everyone knows of like energy, confidence, uh, female attraction, boring, everyone already knows that. But this one's gonna be more in depth, the deep in depth details of the benefits you receive on sleep retention. My experience is three years in, and also I just hit 10,000 subscribers. Wow, God is good, all praise the most high. God bless every one of you who watch my videos, like the video, share it, uh, or just watch it, you know? That's just a blessing in, in right there. So uh, let's get on to it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. All right, so Seamer Attention. Make sure it shows our Seamer Attention. All right, number one would be eye contact. Okay, uh, this is important. When you're talking to people, people might not think this is important, but it is, all right? When you're talking to people, hopefully that's easy to see. Y'all know, y'all could say what I'm saying. So anyways, <laughs> when you're talking to someone, right, you want to be able to make eye contact with them. Um, and not just only with females, but also men too, because you don't want to be talking to someone, right? And you're just looking down. It's just, it's a, to me, even when I'm talking to like a friend, something like that, he's not, he's not like looking me in the eyes. Like it's kind of like weird and stuff like that. Like, and the reason why, let's be real, guys. A lot of people who who have a hard time making eye contact is because they watch porn. Porn makes you have anxiety. It makes you so ha makes you become a social anxiety, um, social what's it called? Social anxiety, whatever. Yeah. It, it, it you you inherit that by watching porn and masturbating. So and also with you know when it, when it comes with you know talking to a woman right like you don't want to just like, and that's a woman they can tell a man who's watching porn the energy you know women are spiritual even the foolish ones they could under they could see okay so when you eye contact is so important bro let's just put it like that it's so important when you're talking to a female and you're not looking her in her eyes she's gonna be turned off bro all right facts. All right, having strong eye contact is linked to confidence. Okay, so eye contact is important. And it's even attention, you're going to reap that. You're not going to be afraid to go up to people, talk to people, start a conversation with them. Or if they start a conversation with you, you're not going to be, you're, you're going to engage. And people who are on senior attention, we become friends with other people who are on senior attention or on NoFap. All right, it's just, it's just like the attraction. All right, some call it the law of attraction. Now, I believe in that because in life, you attract what you are. If you're on semen retention, you're going to attract a woman who's on celibacy. Women can't be on I mean, they could call it, but let's be real. They, we have different bodies, so they can't receive, uh, receive the same benefits as as we do. Okay, so just like my wife, she uh, she was on celibacy for over a year. Okay, I was on semen retention. So you see how that works? Law of attraction, just like us men are on semen retention. Uh, we attract other men who are on that frequency because that's a high frequency. That's a high vibration. All right. That's, that's very high. Okay. So next up would be, this is important too. This is important too. Better, better I'm going to make it on all caps, social skills. And this is also could be linked to your eye contact. When you have better eye contact, your social skills are going to go up. And this is going to be good, man. When it comes to uh, your work, your job uh, force, or let's say if you start a business uh, or anything in life, you want to be able to have social skills. You want to be able to know how to present yourself, how to communicate. Communication is key. You know the saying. You want to be able to, you know, be out there, make new friends with people, um, new connections. Who knows? That one connection could take you to places you've never been before, right? So you want to be able to have good social skills, and that's what you. That's the benefits you will reap practicing silver Now I'm gonna be very clear too. I can't give you guys a date like, oh, you're going to get this on day 60, day 90. These content creators who tell you that, or you're going to get female attraction day 30. It's that's They're just saying that to, you know, to tickle your ears, bro. Like, let's be real. You can't, this is just happens. It just it comes naturally. It could be a year into it that you, until you get eye contact. It could be a couple months, a couple days. Everyone's different. So I can't tell you guys, oh, on day 60, day 75, you're going to get this. You know, it's not, I can only share about what I experienced. Through my, through, it took me, eye contact was damn near like within the first week or two for me, you know, and social skills was probably within the same time frame. So next, uh, next up will be, oh, this is so important, man. This is so important. I told, this video is going to be a classic, man. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is a classic. So next one up will be, oh, this is a classic. Easier to quit addictions 
Man, facts, bruh, facts, okay? If you could quit porn, if you could quit playing with yourself, masturbating, you could quit any other uh, demonic addictions, bro. You could quit uh, food addictions, um, drug addictions, like uh, smoke or alcohol addictions. You could quit all that. If you could quit porn, that's the hardest one to quit. So once you could quit the hardest thing, weed and, and alcohol and uh, overeating, uh, day naps, all easy to quit. Easy, piece of cake. All right. See if your attention is turning man to words. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, I can't make this up. If you get on semen retention, right, it's going to be, and you let's say that like, you struggle with like whatever addiction it may be. There's a bunch of addictions. I can't, I know it's not only just drugs and stuff like that, but that's the only thing that comes to my mind. But once you get on semen retention, bro, quitting all the other addictions is going to be easy because you're focused. And like I said, if you could quit porn, you could quit playing with yourself, then anything else is a piece of cake because porn and masturbating, that's probably one of the, and at least for me, I can't speak for everyone else, but for me, my life, it was the hardest one. So once I quit porn, I'm like, hold up, smoking weed is easy to quit. Um, or any other demonic addictions I had, easy to quit. Okay, easy. This is so important. I'm telling you, this is the man. This video is gonna be a classic, bro. I'm telling you, man. It's gonna be if you want to quit an addiction that you might have, right? Once you get on semen retention, everything else will be a cakewalk, bro. Promise y'all that. Facts. Okay, next one. Uh, now not a lot of people go to the gym, but for those who do, for those who do. You're going to feel stronger at the gym, okay? And um, I have a next, the next video I'm going to make on is things to do on semen retention. And it's going to be linked to this. So I'm going to do this maybe today or tomorrow, I'm not sure. But you're going to be stronger at the gym because your testosterone is up. You have more energy. So, and then you're going to want to lift as heavy as you can. Tony, like I went on say my first year on senior retention, I was a, my uh, bench press. I was bench pressing 85 pounds. I know, pathetic, weak. A year later, fast forward a, later, a year later, I was bench pressing 265. Uh, I was deadlifting. I couldn't even do a plate, bro. I was deadlifting 115, uh, 35 on each side. So I think that's like 105, 115, whatever. I was, that's my first time. And then a year, fast forward a year later, I'm deadlifting 405 pounds. I was squatting. I squatted 135 pounds, uh, one plate. Then a, a year later, I started squatting 315, three plates. So you're just going to become a beast at the gym, bro. A beast. No steroid. You don't need to take steroid. And now if you do, I'm not here to judge anyone who does that. Like, if you do it, you do it. But you won't need to take any enchantments. You won't need to take coffee or, like, uh, what's those pre-workout things I take? Which is, like, cocaine to me. You know, it's, you just, uh, you don't need that because semen retention is natural energy boost. All right, natural energy boost. So yeah, you're going to become stronger at the gym. Or let's say if you don't go to the gym, let's say if you do like cardio or you're like a marathon runner, you're going to become faster. All right, you'll become faster and stuff like that. So number five, number five will be, oh, this is another perfect thing. You'll, okay, next one, number five will be, you will stand up. For yourself all right i see a lot of times like you know especially back in the days where i was partying all the time in club you know some some of the guys would be kind of like clowning the other dudes and like you know putting them down and the, the people they would be clowning they wouldn't like really do anything like you know and i'd be like dang like i, want, I would wanted to help them out but i kind of mind my business because i don't know what other people go through i don't want to bring in their issues to my life so i just mind my business but you know when you get on super retention like if people try to like pick on you or try to make fun of make fun of you or try to roast you, hell nah, bro. You're gonna stand up for yourself. You're gonna stand up for yourself. You're not gonna tolerate uh, disrespect. You're not gonna do that, bro. You know, now on the internet, like, because people, they diss people just for clout. They use their name for clout. So that's different. You never feed into that, to that. But in real life, it's a different energy. You know, you never, you should never tolerate disrespect through anybody, man. And you will stand up for yourself, especially if you're like a weak man with a Jekka Jezebel and stuff like that, or with a succubus, and she's disrespecting you. Uh, cheat on you, you know, there's some men who get cheated on, they don't even care, it's just weak, pathetic, simps, cucks, okay, so you're gonna stand up for yourself, bro, you're not gonna tolerate no type of disrespect through anybody, not just through a man, through a female too, okay, so that's another uh, benefit on semen retention, you know, you have respect, you're, it's because you're respecting your body, now you're respecting yourself, and now other people also are going to have some respect for you. So you won't notice this towards like months into it, years into it, but if you just got on it, you might notice a spiritual warfare. People, you know, might try to, you know, step on you, get you to be angry and stuff like that. So don't feed into it.
All right. Um, number six will be you will be in a better mood. Now, the only downside to this, guys, I got to keep it real, man, because it's not rainbows and Skittles like a lot of content creators want you to believe. You have a hard time sleeping at night, okay, because your energy is so up. Like I told you all, like, semen retention is like, it's like a pre-workout, or like the pre-workout drinks that they be taking, so like that, or like the energy supplements they be taking. It's like that. So it's kind of hard to sleep at night because you have so much energy. You'd be up two, three in the morning, bro, you know, and... So it's, it, that's like the, probably one of the biggest side effects to, or the worst side effects to steam retention, or one of the worst. You know, and I have a video on that, on side effects, the worst side effects. But overall though, throughout that, you will be in a better mood throughout the day, okay? You will be in a better mood. You will feel better about yourself. Uh, you'll be more happier, more at peace. Like I said, when, when you're, when, the higher testosterone is, the better quality of life you will live. And I'm gonna talk about that in my next steam retention video I make. Really repeat this. The higher testosterone you have, the higher quality life you will live. That's why it's important to you know eat healthy, you know work out, exercise, or uh, lift weight, lift the heaviest weights as possible. But exercise, any form of exercise is good. Uh, you know, be on semen retention or be on no fat. It's very important, guys. It's very important. The highly repeat this. The higher quality of life. Oh, sorry, sorry. The higher testosterone you have, the higher quality life that you will obtain. Okay, so uh, that's number six. Number seven. Never said, and also guys, this is not an order, by the way. This is just all from the top of the head. I wrote it down. All right, so next up will be, you will, uh, oh, this is good. All right, you will be uh, courageous with women. All right, you're not, if you like a female, if you like a girl, you're gonna, go, you're gonna let it be known. Not, not through the DM, not through all that corny stuff, bro. I'm talking about in real life. You're going to be you're gonna be straight up. She could be with three of her friends. You won't care, bro. You won't care. All right? You're, and, and you got to understand that, too. When a lot of us guys, too, let's be real. When we see a girl a girl with a whole bunch of her friends, right, we get kind of, like, scared. Like, oh, no, like you, you're the fear of rejection. But when you go up and approach a girl with their friends, she's actually like, wow. Because no, no guy really ever does that. Let's be real. Not many of hardly any guys do that. So she's actually going to look up to you because that's a sign of confidence and females are attracted to that. So on semen retention, and like I said, I can't give you guys a day, like, oh, day 80 is going to happen. Day 90, I can't give you all a day. It's just eventually you're going to re rip the fruits of your labor. Okay, so if you see a girl that you like, you're going to let it be known, whether she's in a pack of her friends uh, or maybe she's just in the cafeteria sitting by herself. You know, before you got on semen retention, you wouldn't do that. You would kind of, or if you did that deal, you would have the anxiety, the social anxiety. You'd be afraid, you know, uh, afraid of the fear of rejection, you know, and that's going to be number eight too. But I want to talk about this a little bit more. You're just not going to be afraid to let it be known to a woman that, you know, that you're feeling her. You want to talk to her, see what she's about, see what she's on, you know, uh, and don't go, when you go on your first date with a woman, don't go on like dinner dates or go, don't go to the movies, go to like a park. Get to know the person. See eye contact. Don't go to like a dinner day and stuff like that. Nah. Or like a movies. And the movies, you can't even talk to them. So why would you, you know, a lot of people do that. Go to the movies. Don't do that. Okay. So next, number eight. The fear of rejection. Rejection. All right. And it goes away. The fear of rejection. And not just with females too. It just lies. Let's say if you have like anything bro anything y'all know all right the fear of rejection and I, in my example i was gonna say like let's say if you have a business and like say you want to start a huge plan or like you want to ask someone to help you you won't be afraid to rejection because you just have you just you're you're a leader bro you're a leader and you got things to conquer so you're not going to be afraid of rejection what is rejection what is fear on semen retention what is fear the media should have pushed us to be afraid stay six feet apart were to mass for what? No fear on semen retention, bro. No fear. And especially the fear of rejection, that's gonna be thrown away on your semen retention journey, man. That's gonna be thrown out the window, bro. So yes, just understand that. Man, these are the eight benefits I'm gonna go over. Uh, also, like I said, I'm gonna make another video too, talking about the things you need to be doing on semen retention. I made a video about that. 
Actually, no, I made a, the video about things to never do on it. So I'm going to talk about the things to do on that. That's going to be another good video too. If not today, then tomorrow. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell too. So go over the eye contact. Y'all might not think this is important, but it is, man. In life, you, you got to have good eye contact. All right, you're gonna be better at social skills, better at communicating with people, better at making friends and like, you know, uh, people liking you. You have a high energy, high vibration, so people like you. Uh, easier to quit addictions, this is important. Easier to quit addictions. It was, Seymour Richardson made it so much easier for me to quit smoking, so much easier. You know, cause if I could quit porn, I could quit anything else. All right, next is stronger at the gym. Like I said, I started benching, the deadlifting, squatting, everything just went up three times, four times up. <laughs> See more attention, man. Uh, you will stand up for yourself. No longer getting picked on. No longer tolerating disrespect from females or anything like that, man. You will stand up for yourself. Uh, you will be in a better mood. You know, like I said, there is a side effect to see more attention. One of the biggest ones is not being able to sleep at night. But you will be in a better mood overall. Uh, you will be courageous with women. You won't be afraid to approach them. You won't be afraid to let let them know how you feel. And, you know that's your wanting to talk to them and stuff like that. And last but not least, this probably should be number one, but there's no more fear of rejection or fear in general. You know, you're just a warrior. You, you're conquering what you want to get. So yeah, these are the eight unknown benefits on stimulant retention. If you haven't already, uh, and comment, if I, if I forgot anything, guys, anything that I might be missing, leave in the comments below. I want to know too. Okay, maybe I haven't reaped the, be the, the, the benefit yet. All right, so thank you guys for watching so much. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you made it this far. I love you guys so much. Peace.